Hello. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I introducing a smart home automation concept. You can automate your home very easily. I use Arduino Node MCU board, MIT App Inventor and Firebase as a cloud database. Let's get started. First of all we have to create Firebase database. Then we have to create a project. I give a project name as test you can give any name for that. Now creating our Firebase database. This will take few more minutes. Okay. We already created the main database then we have to create real-time database because we want to update those data real time. We created databases test because we have to edit data after creating this. I created test database as an example. This is my home automation project database. These are the values I sent to my database recently. I sent three values to the database because I control three home applications from this database. I can change these values real time. Next I will create my mobile application using MIT App Inventor. This is very user friendly software. I will create a new project as an example. It is very easy to create you don't need any programming language for program this. I named my example project as test1. You can give any name for your project. This is the default screen. We can add more screens for our project. We can drag and drop buttons, switches, slides, text boxes for control your home application via mobile. We can change properties of the switches and others. Properties helps to create app very creatively. We can edit user interface, layout, adding sensors, manage storage. And the main thing is sending values to database. To do that, we have to link database and the app. Copy the database URL and paste it on the box called Firebase URL and properties of the app. We can create more screens in the application. By this we can manage our application. This is the logic part of the application. We can design the control by the logic part. It is very easy to code because already they have blocks we have to arrange them as we wish. Now I will show my project application which I make. I use three buttons to control my home application. I arrange two screens. After loading the first screen the second screen topip, after designing the application, we have to build up the app to our smartphone. Then clicking the build APK and scanning the QR code by the mobile phone. You can download your application to smartphone. It will take few more minutes. First of all, we should identify the libraries used in here. First I include the library of the Firebase, then the library of Node MCU. Then I define my home Wi-Fi SSID and password to connect my Node MCU and my home Wi-Fi. Then we have to link the database and the Node MCU for getting the data from the database. Firebase host means the URL of the database. Then we can copy down the URL to the code. 
then we can link database in the node MCU. We can find Firebase authorizing code from the project settings of the database. Then copy down the secret code. Then I initializing the input output pins before coding the setup. In the setup, I define output pins and print some signals on serial monitor. These are the logical expressions I used in here. Each and every device is in my setup. Controlled by these conditions, I bravely explain what are components I use to my project. This is the Node MCU340 board. I couple two breadboards. And I get some jump wires. I solder some LEDs to a dot board and the circuit used as a indicator. This is an USB fan which I connected to power adapter. This is a micro USB power cable which I used to power my Node MCU. You can see the 5 volt relay module. I used it to switch smaller current in my control circuit. 